Babies are born with the instinct to suck. It helps soothe and calm them. Pacifiers are recommended over thumbs because parents can control when they're used and pacifiers can always be thrown away. But some kids prefer their fingers. Thumb sucking is quite common during the first couple of years and not really a problem, but it can turn into one. Thumb sucking can become an addiction, much like smoking cigarettes or drinking alcohol. Thumbs travel by automatic pilot. The child doesn't even realize it's going up there. So uh, if the child has anything on his thumb that lets him know, oh, it's there again. So it could be a bandage, could be bad tasting substances. At night, a sock taped around the wrist so it doesn't just fall off works very well. Dr. Susan Heitler, child psychologist and mother of four thumb suckers, wrote this book to help children decide to stop on their own and also provides helpful information for parents. By the time they're five and they're getting permanent teeth, it can be doing damage to their facial structure. So that's, that's time to, to say goodbye to the thumb. These pictures show how a child's bite can be damaged by years of thumb sucking and can actually cause skeletal deformities. Pushing the upper jaw too far forward in relation to the lower jaw and finally causing a downward growth of the upper jaw. As a last resort, there are appliances a dentist can put in a child's mouth to help stop thumb sucking. Some can also help correct the resulting damage, which can even affect speech. The most common problem is what we call an interdental lisp, otherwise known as sloppy S's. If your child sucks frequently, is five or older, and is showing any negative effects, it's time to see the dentist. Reporting on health and medicine, I'm Diana Gonzalez-Duruthi, Channel 10 Eyewitness News.